Well, good morning, guys. Good morning, good morning. And uh, it's good to be with you this morning again. And uh, as we command this day, as, as we pray and as we seek the Lord together this morning, and what I want you to do, as we always say, um, that you take a moment, share this, get this out. I want us to tag people today. Um, tag at least five people as we go into our time of prayer. And uh, very specifically, I'm very excited about this weekend. And this morning, I would just want to find out a little bit. Uh, tell me, where are you watching me from this morning? Um, just wanted to know a little bit. Um, of course, I know many of the names that are on right now. But uh, where are you watching us from? I know this guy is watching from, of course, from Pretoria, uh, Johannesburg, etc. But, um, and Durban, hopefully. And I'm teasing. And also Cape Town, etc. But just take a moment quickly. Tell me where you're watching from this morning. Where are you joining us from in prayer this morning? as we command this day so uh, just quickly take a moment and also just for interest sake um, how many people are actually watching with you how many people are watching with you this morning um, i see there the representation comes in durban centurion um, okay awesome uh, there you see cape town durban pretoria Come on, let's see the representation, guys. Quickly post. Good, let's run. I want to see. And uh, where, where are you watching us from? And uh, Cape Town, Cape Town, Kuzulu Natal, Midlands, uh, Durban, Whitbank, Johannesburg, Boxburg. Ah, oh, look at that. Uh, Artis. Uh, Come on, uh, quickly let us know, guys. Come on, come on. And uh, <laughs> Pretoria. Uh, some of you say we, I'm alone. It uh, sounds like you're depressed. No, man. Um, morning, morning, guys. Cape Town. Vessel. Uh, how's that vessel? Uh, Pretoria, two people. Excellent. Roy Scroll. Okay, good morning, guys. Um, as I say, uh, just uh, want to know where you're watching us from and today it's going to be a good day it's going to be a good weekend I am very excited about the first fruit conference that we're going to have in K uh, in Durban um, very Jeffreys Bay hey there we go um, Namibia Namibia wow uh, look there uh, that's amazing Pretoria Namibia Hey, that's cool guys, all the way from Namibia. Glad to have you guys on with us as well. And uh, I hope um, as we move into the bluff, it's, it sounds like uh, something spiritual. Um, but, uh, <laughs> but this morning, what I want us to do, we're going to trust Jesus this morning. We're going to go to the Lord this morning. We're going to command certain things to be. And also more than that, it's uh, First Fruit Conference this weekend in Durban. So if you don't know where our 
uh, Empower Church Durban is. Empower Church Durban is at 29 Salisbury Avenue, Westville, Durban. It's the place to be tomorrow night, 7 o'clock, Sunday morning, 9 o'clock, Sunday evening, 5 o'clock. Um, and we're going to have an amazing time in the presence of the Lord as we move in there. And But this morning, and uh, I want to encourage you, all of you that are in that area, please go there, uh, see me there with Apostle Neville. And uh, we have got many of our ministry friends that are flying in. I know about a couple that are joining me there. And of course, we're just going to have an amazing time here in Pretoria um, as well. Um, and... Um, we are, we are just going to trust Jesus for an amazing weekend. Amen. Listen, this morning I want to say before I even start and go down the things, I, the Lord spoke to me this morning and He just said to me, tell my people today again that behold, I'm doing something new. Will they perceive it? I believe the Lord wants you to know today that He is doing something new. God is on the move. And the difference between us and the world is very definitely this, that we have a God that's in our camp. We have a God that is with us and we have a God that is ahead of us. And as we, as we pray this morning, as we have faith this morning, I want us to have that faith as we go out into this day to say, hey, but there's a God that is with us. And this God is powerful. This God is a consuming fire. This God is the God that opens up the Red Sea. This God is the God that saves by, by out of the lion's den. This God is the healer. He's the restorer. He's the redeemer. He's the banner. Uh, he is the one that is faithful to the end. And He is the one that wants to bring a difference. I believe as we're going to pray this morning um, that God spoke to me again. Business people, I want you to stretch your faith with God this morning. I I want you to, to push your limits, business people. And this morning again, as we pray, I will neglect to ask all these business people, if you have not yet joined my uh, business prophetic mentoring um, channel on Telegram, please do so because as from next week in that specific Telegram group, just tailored for business people, small and great we're going to start to activate things that will advance you that will help you uh, more than that i want to see you becoming the most effective kingdom business that you can be you have to prosper you have to be the above and not beneath and you have to be simply put a financier for the things of god and more than that you have to be a millionaire and more and you have to have an abundance because that's why God calls business people. He doesn't call you to be average. He calls you to be um, a massive smashing success. And that's my passion to see business people reach that. Um, because South Africa is going to go into a place where we need the business realm as much as the church. And we're going to do this together. Trust me when I say that we are going to do this together. Amen. So this morning I want us to get into prayer. And we're going to go into scripture this morning. And uh, I want us to go into this one or two very, very key scriptures. And we're going to start with Deuteronomy this morning. So as we pray them out, I want you to type them out. I want you to put them out, guys. Um, these are, we have to understand what you're busy doing. We are commanding the breath. When the Bible says you command the breath, it means that the you are speaking into your into your future remember god is yesterday today and forevermore or today yesterday today and is in the future when we speak we are putting our, our future in our now and we take our future and we bring it into the now right so what we say matters because it is a declaration into the spiritual realm about god's intentions and what the word of the lord says and so it's one of the most powerful things that we can do is to speak with God and declare with the Lord. Amen. So take a moment quickly, guys. Let it run. And um, again, share, share, share. And get it out there to somebody. Say, hey, you have to hear it this morning so that I can get you to life. Jesus is life. Jesus is the abundance. Jesus is the overflow. 
And I believe, I'm a firm believer that in Christ, He cuts all of it off so that you and I can live the abundant life. Amen? It didn't take some, it took it all. And so let's go. Deuteronomy chapter number 8, 28, verse number 13 says the following. The Lord says, that I, the Lord makes me the head and not the tail. I'm above and not beneath. And Father, this morning, as we come together to pray and to declare the day, Father, thank you that we can declare once again, Lord Jesus, Lord, that you have made us the head and not the tail. I am above and not beneath. I am more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Father, that in this morning I can prophesy and I can speak over lives this morning. Thank you, Father, that, Lord, in this day, Lord, even as I see it, Father, we speak against walls of limitations. We speak about resistance. Lord, we come against every form of resistance that there might have been in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And Father, this morning we command the day, we command the businesses, we command the surroundings, Lord, to give way to the word of the Lord. Father, I want to thank you that in this day we can agree with Deuteronomy chapter number 28, verse number 13. It says, the Lord makes me the head and not the tail. I will always be on the top and never below. That's Deuteronomy 28, 13. I will always be at the top and never below. I want us to say it this morning. I want you to prophesy that. I want you to say that this morning. Say it to yourself, guys. Uh, even if you need to get that in the, into a mirror this morning, but say it to yourself. I will always be on the top. I will always be at the top and never below. Father, thank you that we can declare this morning. Father, I want to speak out even as I see into the spirit realm. Father, I'm going to speak out into people's lives this morning, Lord Jesus. Father, thank you, Lord, that even now, even now, Lord, you are taking hold of matters in the family. Guys, I see children this morning uh, in front of me. I see how there's been children that has been wayward and staggering. I see how the enemy has tried to focus upon the children in your family. And I, and I see, as I see in this, but I feel the Lord is saying to me, that uh, children very specifically you are going to see in this day there will be a supernatural release that will come upon the children it's like uh, the enemy had a plan but god had a way and uh, i want to i want to pray for that very specifically this morning won't you quickly if that's you if that's you if that's your children or your child um this morning i, I want you just to to put their names for me quickly let's go Put, put their names for me in it and uh, let's go guys let's put the names the kids names and um, the children's names and just let's just punch the devil in the face man um, let, hit, let him hit where it matters and um, so that we can just move this so children 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 um, quickly get me those children's names so that we can pray for them this morning father as the people are busy typing this morning lord i want to pray as i see Father, I want to thank you for children, Lord. Children that will not be under the attack or under the demonic assignment that the enemy wants to place upon them. Father, this morning, Lord, as I speak to the kids, Lord, as I see the names running onto the screen, Father, I want to pray in this morning right now that devil, you break your bounds and your limitations on the children in Jesus' name. Father, right now in the name of Jesus, Lord, I put my, my agreement with every, every parent, every mom, every dad, every grandchild in Jesus Christ's name. And Father, we thank you that right in this moment, Lord, that the bounds and the limitations and the plans and the cycles and the chains and the rebellion goes. Father, we address the spirit of rebellion this morning in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I say to you, spirit of rebellion, break off the people break off the people right now in jesus christ's name you are not welcome in their homes you are not welcome in their households you're not definitely not welcome with the kids and so this morning we break your bounds we break your limitations and the authority that has been signed to us and father we speak over these children in the name of the lord jesus christ Lord, even as their names are running on my screen, Father, I speak to these children's names right now and I say, be healed, be restored and come in line with your heavenly mandate in Jesus Christ's name. 
in Jesus Christ's name. And there we are, parents. I want you to do something today. I want you to do something with your children. I want you to anoint your kids. Anoint your children and pray for your kids and prophesy about their tomorrow. One of the things that Shannon and I do um, is that we took the word of the Lord and we asked God for words pertaining to our kids. What is God's heart for our children? And every single day we command those words into the breath, into the atmosphere, and we remind God of what, of what He said. Why? Because we want to see their destiny shaped by the word of God, not about other stuff. Are you guys there? And so I want you to do that today. Anoint your kids. Write down, Lord, tell me about, uh, let me look at her name here. Tell me about Donovan. Tell me about Susan. Tell me about Jonathan. Tell me about Luke. Tell me about Sarah. Tell me, Lord, speak to me. And you command, you command the day. Then secondly, say with me, say with me. And I want us to declare this, guys, because it is an antidote. Um, we have to understand the word of the Lord is an antidote. Deuteronomy chapter number 28, verse number 6 says the following. I am blessed in my coming in and I'm blessed in my going out. Come on, Jesus wants you to be blessed. He wants you to have overflow. I want you to say that with me. Save me. I am blessed in my coming in and I'm blessed in my going out. Even contrary to all things that I see, I am the blessed of the Lord. Guys, come on. I want us to declare that this morning. Save me. I am blessed in my coming in and I am blessed in my going out. I want us to be clear on these things this morning, very clear upon it, because I believe that the Lord wants us to understand this um, and so that we can move with these things this morning, guys. So say with me, say, I'm blessed in my coming in, I'm blessed in my going out. I want us to say that, I want us to declare that. Then secondly, or fourthly, fifthly, Say with me, Isaiah 54, verse number 17, says the following, No weapon formed against me shall prosper. I want you to note that. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. No, not one. It doesn't say the weapons won't be formed. Hey, it says the weapon shall not prosper. And so, Father, this morning we pray against every weapon that is formed in Jesus' name. And I thank you, Lord Jesus, that in this day we can say, Lord, no weapon formed against me shall prosper in Jesus' name. Say that with me, guys. Save me. No weapon formed against me shall prosper in Jesus Christ's name. Father, we want to thank you this morning that every tongue that speaks against me in judgment shall be condemned. Listen, I want to be serious on this point. Um, I hate this. You know, Satan is the accuser of the believer. Satan is the condemner. The Bible says there's therefore no condemnation for those in Christ Jesus. But it's still so that Christians specializes in condemning. We want to condemn other people. We want to blame other people. It is as old as the Garden of Eden. We want to blame this one, blame that one. We want to blame everybody except taking responsibility for ourselves. And so this morning, I want us to say every tongue, every tongue, that rose up in condemnation against us. Every tongue that has risen in judgment against us. Isaiah 54, 17. We rebuke that and we come against that. Come on. You know what I'm talking about. Sometimes it's just a family member. Sometimes it's a business associate. Sometimes it's people that are just plain ignorant. And so they speak. But you know, you get these people that come to you with the beautiful intentions. But the heart is wicked. Um, and, uh, and I find that these things sometimes... Just his family sometimes just doing it. That sometimes a business associate doing it. My reference for what I'm saying to you right now is, um, is I had a business person that I sat with yesterday and his business associate was just condemning the living daylights out of him. And I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. You know, you, you are never responsible for somebody else's actions. You are responsible for your own. You're responsible for your own. And so we broke those words of condemnation. We said, no, we have something better than those words. We have the sword of the Spirit. We have the word of the Lord. We have the Holy Spirit. And hence, we can break those words. And so, come on, let's condemn these words together. Say, say it with me. And I want you to be bold, guys. Even if you need to shout the name, shout it. But do it this morning and let's be bold. Every tongue that speaks against me in judgment shall be condemned in Jesus' name. 
Save me again. Every tongue that rises up against me shall be condemned in Jesus' name. That is Isaiah uh, 54 verse number 17. Then, may, then I want us to say this. Say, I will live. Oh, hallelujah. I will live. I will live under God's supernatural protection. Uh, that's Psalm 91 verse number 1 and 2. I live, I will live under God's supernatural protection. I will live under God's supernatural protection. I want you to say that. Declare with me that it is the word of good Lord that we're busy declaring right now. I will live, I will live, I will live, I will live under God's supernatural protection. Come on guys, let's, let's get it up. Then, say with me, save me. I, um, yeah, I will live under God's supernatural protection. Then, one next to it. <laughs> oh, I, love, I love the heart of God. I love the heart of the Lord. Listen, listen to what the Lord is saying. Save me. Jeremiah chapter number 29 verse number 11 says this. God has got great plans for me. And I'm filled with hope as a bright future is awaiting me. Say with me guys, listen. Say, God has got great plans for me and I am filled with hope for an amazing future, a supernatural future. Save me. I am a revivalist. I am the difference. I am the shaper and the molder for the future. I am the one that Jesus loves. I am the one that God will use. I am a supernaturalist. I am a revivalist. I want us to say that, guys. Come on. That means you have a divine mandate. That means where you are. Come on. There's power where you are. The deaf can see. The, blind, the deaf can hear. The blind can see. The lame can walk. Business can be blessed all because of you. Come on. Say, I am a revivalist. I believe that in this hour, God is raising up Joseph. I believe that in this hour, we will see more Josephs than in any other hour. I prophesied at the end of last year that we will see a Joseph generation rising up in this hour. There will be people of great sustenance. There will be a people of great influence. God will trust them with things from above. He will trust them with wisdom, insight, understanding, knowledge. And so you are a Joseph. You are a Joseph. And God wants to entrust you with wealth. God wants to entrust you with resources and God wants to trust you with wisdom, with wisdom, with wisdom. And I want you to say that with me, say with me, I am a supernatural, I am a Joseph in my time. I am the answer, I am the solution through Christ Jesus as He's the answer, He's the way, He's the truth and He in me is the answer. Come on, we have to be bold about these things. Save me, I am a revivalist. Oh, I love that. Save me, I am a revivalist. I revive dead things. I revive dead situations. I revive dead, dead economies. I revive dead bodies. I revive dead families. I am a revivalist. Come on, guys, get it out this morning. Save me, I am a revivalist. I am, I am a revivalist. Come on, save me, I am a revivalist. 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 Then I want us just to take a moment. Uh, we are right, right in the middle of, of our time together. I want you to guys to quickly do me a favor here again. And I'll always ask this, quickly tag somebody into this. Um, you know, let's make, let's make the devil upset. Let's uh, mess around with uh, our enemies a bit this morning. And uh, tag them in here. And come on, let's just share this broadcast and let's move with the Lord. Let's just move with the Lord this morning as we declare the day. Okay, so go for it, guys. Quickly, I'm going to give you 10 seconds. Let's run, let's run, let's run. Let's do this. Okay, so now... As you, as you are busy doing that, tag that enemy in this morning. That guy that you haven't spoken to, that lady I haven't chatted to, that uh, family member you don't like that really much. I say, hey, Tani Sari, I want to talk to you quickly. And, uh, and get it across to her this morning, guys. Come on. 
and uh, let's step into us. Then, saving all things, all things, all things, all things, all things, my God. All things work for good because I am loved by God and I'm called according to His purpose. All things work for my good. Not some, not a few. Not in this situation only or that situation. No, all things. I want you to be bold as lions this morning when you say that and we pray that and we command that. All things work for my good because I, I am loved by God and I'm called according to heaven's purpose. Romans chapter number 8 verse number 28. I, all things, not some, not a few, all things, all things work together. Now save me. It is no longer I who live. It is no longer I who live, but it's Christ living inside of me. I carry within me the DNA to be a miracle worker. I carry within me the spirit to revive things. I carry within me power to unlock destinies, power to unlock the kingdom. I carry within me the wisdom of today and tomorrow. I am who He says I am. And all things will work together for me as I am called. I'm called. I'm not hired by God. I'm not a hireling. I am called by the Lord. And I want us to say that, guys. Come on. All things work together. All things work together. Then, save me. I want us to be released. God spoke to me about three stuff that we're going to be released from this morning. Permanently so. And let's be bold again. As, as we declare it, guys, well, I want to teach the body of Christ. You know, we have to be bold. There's no excuses. No. Uh, we don't ask apologies for what we believe. We believe what we believe and we say what we say. And we stand by the word of the Lord. Whether we rise or fall by the word of the Lord, it's better to stand on the word of the Lord and to fail by man's opinion. So I want us to be clear on the things that we are going to be released from this day. The first thing I want us to say this morning, I am released from the spirit of poverty. I am released from the spirit of poverty. Come on guys, you have to hate that devil. Save me. I am released from the spirit of poverty. I'm released from it. I'm released from the spirit of poverty. Come on. I want you to comment. I'm going to give you 10 seconds. I want this devil to know we're going to be released from it. Come on, I want you just to say that because you're no longer in Egypt, man. You're no longer there. Uh, uh, I want us just to be bold about this. Bold, 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 bold. I'm released from the spirit of poverty. I'm released from it. I'm released from it. I'm not in that kingdom. I'm not in that kingdom. I don't belong there. I'm not there. I'm released from the spirit of poverty. Second one. I want you to be bold about this. Say, I'm released from the spirit of fear. 2 Timothy 1.7 I am released... From the spirit of fear. I'm released from the spirit of fear. I'm released from the spirit of fear. I'm released from the spirit of fear. Secondly, I'm released from the negativity of the world. I'm released from the negativity of the world. I'm released from the negativity of the world. Come on. Come on, guys, we need God more than ever before. Hallelujah. Come on. Come, Lord Jesus. Come, Father, we pray. Fill the breath, Lord. Fill our prayer time this morning, Lord Jesus. Come, Lord Jesus, come. Lord, we are desperate and hungry and thirsty. Lord, we are seeking you, Lord, above all things, Lord. We, we are persistent in our pursuit to persevere. We are persistent in our pursuit to seek the Lord and see you move supernaturally in Jesus Christ's name. Save me. I'm released from the negativity of the world. I'm released from the negativity of the world. I want us to be bold about that. I'm released from the negativity of the world. Third one. I'm released. This is big. This is big and I'm going to minister to you as, as, I, as I say this. Save me. I am released from the spirit of disappointment. I'm released from the spirit of disappointment. Come on guys. I'm released from the spirit of disappointment. You know, there, there is a, there's a spirit that operates and it's the spirit of disappointment. What this thing does, it makes you just not get the breakthrough. It makes you just, just start to trust and then the, 
the betrayal comes. It makes you just come into that place where you almost have the breakthrough and then it seems like it just slips away. The spirit of disappointment. The spirit of, of disappointment. And that devil is a devil. And we hate that devil because we serve a God of hope. Hope the first makes the soul sick. The Bible makes that very clear. Hope the first makes the soul sick. And so this morning, I want you to say with me boldly, say, I'm released from the spirit of disappointment. Come on, say with me, I'm released from the spirit of disappointment. I'm released from the spirit of disappointment. Save me this morning. Say, I am delivered from the power of darkness. I'm delivered from the power of darkness. Colossians 1, 12 to 13. Greater is He, greater is He who is in me than he that is in the world. John 1, 4, 4. I want you to say that then the Spirit of the Lord that dwells in me makes me unique. I want you to say that. Save me the Spirit of the Lord that dwells in me makes me unique makes me unique and father right now i want i wanted to, to pray about this because i feel the spirit i feel oil on this if you have been through a seasons of disappointments seasons guys and i and i'm and i'm talking to you uh seasons of disappointment seasons of just just having enough or seasons where you've been trusting but it's like oh, you just never get this you just never get this breakthrough. You, you talk about it, you sing about it, you might do all types of things about it, but yet the disappointment stays. And you might have learned how to cope with it. What many people do, they just learn coping mechanisms. And they try to get theology for why it's not working. That's what most Christians do. They try to get a theology, ah, oh, it's maybe not God's will, you know. No, it's always God's will. Um, in, in the essence of, um, for example, uh, it is always God's will to, to, to help and to heal and to bring restoration. We don't need to question the Lord whether it's His will or not. It is rubbish not to say it's His will. It is His will. Otherwise, He wouldn't have given us a healing program. And so, um, and there's many other things that Christians do like that. So let's not get a bad theology. But what I want us to do this morning is I really want to pray for you about this. Because breakthrough has to come. Why? We serve the God of rest. Um, Micah uh, 2.12 to 13, I think, yeah, 2.12 to 13, where it speaks about God breaks open away. And when, when the Lord breaks open away, nobody can stop it. And so this morning, let's minister to you quickly here on this point. If there has, if it's, um, if it's been, if you've been in a place where it's like disappointment, it's uh, the spirit of disappointment, it's like almost, but just never. Uh, you're almost there. You work, you work, you labor your backsides off without fruit. Um, you against the wall many times. I want you just. I want us to take a moment this morning because I wanted. I want to declare and I want to speak and I want to pray with you and I want to declare into your tom into tomorrow together this morning. So if that's you, just uh, just comment quickly. I'm just looking at our at, at our monitor and uh, you can just say that's me. That's me. Let's run. Let's run, guys. I'm gonna give you time. I'm gonna give you time. I'm going to give you time here and then uh, from, from this place what we're going to do is we're going to pray specifically just for Durban and um, come on and there the people are, there the people are com commenting and uh, I just want to just want to give uh, some time because we're going to trust God for this this, this thing goes this, this thing goes today it goes today, it goes today because there's an oil from heaven that will come upon you in this day. There's an oil from heaven. There's a, there is the, the Holy Spirit will come upon this situation in this day. And this will be the last unfruitful day of your life. This will be the last season that you'll need to fight for certain things. From this moment forward, I hear the Spirit of the Lord say to me that I'll come alongside you. 
as you trust me and as you put your hope and your confidence in me, you do not have anything to fear. But I will come alongside you in the season like a strong friend. You'll feel my strength and you'll feel my undergirding power. Yes, you will. You will see that I'm the Lord your God and I do not change. I'm not a man that I can lie. I'm not like shifting shadows that is one day like this or the other day like that. I'm steadfast in my love and my pursuit about you. I'm steadfast in my thinking and my understanding that you are my beloved and my love is for you. But in this season, you will find that there will be new strength, hope, power and correction coming to you because you will find I'm leading the way. As you lean more heavily into me, this will be a season and a time where I will smack the ball out of the park time and time again. And you will say, how can it be that all things are happening so quickly? But you will be able to say, it must be the Lord. These things that has happened to you, against you, and on behalf of other people where they try to move and trick you up, you have to know that I, the Lord, will make it work together for my glory. You will not need to fight this battle, for I will fight it, says the Lord. I will go to battle for you, I will win the battle for you, and I will break a way open for you. Rest now and be confident in your resting. Be confident in your resting as you trust me. Hand it over to me and leave it in my hands, says the Lord. And see now how I become a strength of pillar and might and power for you like no other day. Don't carry it around like it's your burden. I didn't tell you it's yours. It doesn't belong to you. It doesn't belong to you. I have never given you sickness as a label. I've never given you opposition so that you can name yourself trouble. I've never given you pain so that you can tell yourself that you are wounded. I've never given you situations so that you can tell yourself, I am conquered. No, I have told you through my son that you are the head and not the tail. I've told you that all things work together. I have told you, trust in me of all of your heart and lead not unto your own understanding and I will correct your path. And I have said to you that you are more than a conqueror. I've told you not in life nor in death will you be separated from my love. And what I say to you is the truth. I am not a man, once again, that I can lie. I save by fire and I save by might. I save by my mighty right hand and I save by my love. I save by my grace and I save by my justice. But today, disappointment and you trying to work it out is coming to an end. For you will see in the month of February as I go ahead of you. And this will be known as a season of many, many breakthroughs. Supernatural it will be and you will be able to say this is supernatural says the Lord come on let's just take Jesus on that come on he's he's speaking to you directly this morning he loves you so much that he uses me to talk to you this morning and to tell you his heart he is for you and he's not against you so father I want to thank you that right now Lord Jesus Lord I can pray over every single person every single circumstance that they will know that they are loved by God and Lord more than that Lord that they will know this morning Lord that thank you that we can instruct this spirit of disappointment through the power of love and say you devil you devil that lies and steals and wants to corrupt people's future it's time to keep quiet in Jesus Christ's name we thank you Lord for that right now in Jesus name right now at this place come on guys can you just say hallelujah to jesus oh oh hallelujah can you just say hallelujah to jesus come on just say hallelujah the word hallelujah is halal yeah it means praise the lord you know just say praise the lord praise the lord praise just say praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord that's all i want you to do come on let's just praise him he's awesome man he's awesome what can man do unto him what can man really do? Ah, oh, they don't have control of your future. They don't have control of your tomorrow. Come on, let's just, uh, what can man do? What can they do? Just say, praise the Lord. 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 
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes, Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Bora bata rabi amar. Praise the Lord. Business people, this morning I feel I hear the Spirit of the Lord speak to me about your businesses. I just hear the Lord speaking to me. New plans is coming. Heaven is downloading new blueprints. New blueprints. There's there's calling. There's calls out to the sons and the daughters. I hear the Lord say to me this morning, business people, God is bringing new plans. He's downloading new plans. Trust me, says the Lord. Come to me now. Sit with me. I reveal to you the plans that I will back of all of my might. I hear the Lord say, business people, don't be afraid. Don't be concerned. Uh, the Lord has got a blueprint. He's got a plan. It's going to work out. It's going to be good. And you just need to trust the Lord your God. And you can and need to apply what He says in His word you must do. Do it and see the Lord work for you. It's not a time to worry. It's not a time to fret. Business people, I see like a, I see like a blueprint from heaven falling upon business people. A fresh blueprint. It's time for expansion. It's time for advancement. Time for expansion. Time for advancement. I want all the business people to say, I receive that. 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 I want everybody to pray with me now, just for a few seconds. I want us to pray for Durban. I want God is going to enlarge Durban over this weekend. God is going to expand that church. It's going to break its bounds. Spirit of the Lord visited me and He spoke to me very clearly about that. So we're going, I'm going on assignment tomorrow, uh, well today, and uh, to see that happen tomorrow. And, uh, and then we'll see you Sunday. But there is there's so much that God is going to do over this weekend. And God is going to stretch this. I literally saw temples flying in the Spirit. And I heard the Lord say, watch me now. As I bring supernatural healing, extension, miraculous power. And I'm going to break open new wineskins like never before. So let's just pray together for Durban. Father, I want to thank you for Durban this morning. Lord, thank you for Pastor Ruan. Thank you for Pastor Lana. Thank you for sons and daughters that are true. Father, I want to thank you that in this weekend we will see nothing but the supernatural power of Jesus. And Father, we trust you with that simply this morning. In Jesus' name. Abba. I thank you that you're ahead of me. I thank you that you've gone ahead of me. I thank you that you've shown me where you've gone. And I thank you that this weekend, devils flee, sickness trembles, sickness departs, and ten poles moves permanently so in Jesus Christ's name. I thank you for that, Lord, in Jesus' name. And all the Durban people say and shout, Amen and Amen and Amen. And this weekend, of course, Cape Town. Cape Town, Cape Town, Cape Town, Cape Townians. Uh, Pastor Eric is with you guys this weekend. So Cape Town, uh, I hope you um, are ready for that and are excited. And uh, Cape Town, Cape Town is going to be good. Two last things from my side. EBI, I want to ask every single person. EBI is starting, guys. Empower Bible Institute. The best uh bible bible classes that we've done before i don't think we've ever i've done every literature that i'm going to do this weekend or well, this week to come um and so i want to say to you, everybody ebi ebi i want to ask you please register for ebi empowered bible institute don't delay register for ebi the links will be up and uh, i want you guys to do so, I want you guys to register for EBI. Please don't miss out on EBI. We always have the late comers, and um, you know, don't be late. Uh, come and register for that, uh, and don't be late even for the rapture, please. Um, do EBI, get engaged. There's the link, it's up. Click on it, pay it, pay for a friend, and get them into EBI. Amen. And lastly, I'll say again, all the business people, please register for that channel. And guys, we love you. As we'll always say, I'll never neglect to say that. I love you. Thank you for praying with me again in this day as we command the day by the blood of the Lamb and by the power of His Word and by the Spirit that lives inside of us. It's always amazing just to be with you. And I find it an honor to pray. And um, so you must have an amazing weekend. 
I'll see you in either Cape Town, Durban or Pretoria uh, here at the Mother Branch. We're excited about what Jesus is busy doing. And so, as I always say, I love you very, very much. Take a moment and love the Lord. Throw an emoji up and say, Jesus, I love you. And as you go this morning, I want you to share, get this broadcast out to other people, share it to somebody, tag somebody, share it to them. Guys, we love you. You are the best. And we'll see you next week again as we pray together. Have an awesome weekend and have a God weekend. God bless you and goodbye, guys. Bye now.